Okay, good afternoon, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be sort of like a little test. Um, for some reason, and I don't know why, so don't ask me why, a bunch of you have commented on so many of my videos over probably the last six months, asking me to do a video detailing a car. Now, I don't know why I get questions like this about detailing a car, because I have almost zero past experience of detailing cars, however, for some reason, people want to see it. So today, that's what we're going to do. Now, as you guys know, the Corsa recently passed its MOT. Um, and before it went for the MOT, I gave it like a super quick, like wash down, just sprayed it with some car shampoo, wiped it down, and that is as good as it got. Now, in the whole time I've owned the car, that is the first time I think I've ever cleaned it. Maybe I cleaned it once when I first bought it. But apart from that, that was its first wash for a long, long time. Now, in today's video, we're going to go a little bit further than just washing. I'm going to attempt to wash clay bar, compound, polish, and wax. So we've got like a five stage clean that's gonna to happen today. Don't know how it's gonna go, don't know how the results are gonna be, but we're gonna give it a go. Now before I start, detailing cars is a very particular art. People that do it, and people that do it for a living, are very particular on how you do it, the products you should use, techniques, all that sort of stuff is very particular. So before anyone hounds me in the comments, I am a complete amateur at doing this, but I just wanna see how I go. I wanna see what results I can get from just doing a quick driveway detail um, with the products that I've got and the, and the equipment that I've got as well. So here in front of me, I've laid out my products. From left to right is the order that I'm gonna be using them in. So on the left, we have got the Demon Foam Car Shampoo. Uh, my mate Tom bought this for me for my birthday. Love it, I've, you can see I've used half of it already. Great stuff and it smells amazing. It sort of smells like bubblegum. Um, smells absolutely awesome. So that's the first thing we're gonna use. After that and after we've cleaned it, um, I've got a clay bar here. There you go, it's a little bit dirty but there's a clean bit there that I'll use. Um, and just some waterless wax, just, just to lubricate the surface so that the clay bar works better. After that, we will go with Ultimate Compound. This is from Meguiar's. I've heard really good things about it on the internet, so I've got that to try out. Next, after that, we've got Auto Glim Super Resin Polish. It's the polish that I've used for years. You can see the bottle's all old. It's worked when I've polished cars in the past by just doing it by hand with a microfiber, so we're gonna stick with that. And then last but not least, I've actually had a really good result with this Triple Wax Fast Wax. Now, it's probably not the best stuff to use. Um, it's really cheap as well, but in the past, I've had really good results, like I said. So that is gonna be the setup for today. I'm gonna to start with this, work our way to the right, um, and hopefully we can get some good results. Now, although I will end up cleaning and detailing the whole car so it all matches, today we're just gonna focus on one area of the car just to sort of try out the products and see how we get on. And if we get good results, then I will do that obviously to the rest of the car. Now, I almost forgot to mention, I am not gonna be doing the compounding and the polishing by hand. That will take absolutely forever. And I'm not willing to get arm ache for the sake of the courses. So I've got myself a machine polisher. This is a pretty cheap machine polisher. You can get it online. Um, I think I bought this on eBay like six months ago. Still haven't used it yet. It's got a pad on it already and it also came with a bunch of other pads as well. We've got pink ones, yellow ones, all sorts of stuff and a polishing pad as well, like so. So this is going to be assisting us today in compounding and polishing. It's got a variable speed trigger as well, which is useful and um, a little handle. So hopefully this will aid us in polishing and compounding um, and we should be able to get a better result with this. So as I said, for today, we're going to be working on the bonnet of the Corsa. I'll just give you a couple of close-ups of sort of how the paint where it looks at the minute. It looks quite clean on camera. Like if I sat this far back, you wouldn't think that that needs cleaning, would you? Looks pretty shiny on camera, looks pretty good. But if we go up close, I've got a torch here. If we sort of get the camera to focus, you can see the paintwork there. Can you see those swirls? Just where the torch is, there you go, that's a better, better light. Bunch of swirls, a bunch of little marks. Um, so I'm hoping to get as much of that out as I can and get a nice shiny surface once again. Now I've already got a pretty definitive line that goes up the middle here, so I'm just gonna run some tape up that mask off that side, I'm gonna leave that side, and then we'll treat this side, and we'll see when we peel the tape off whether there's a difference between this side and the other side.
Right, so that is the decontamination stage of the cleaning now done. Upon doing so, I know it doesn't look very clean. Now that it's been washed in clay bard, you can actually see a lot more of the imperfections in the paint now. Um, if I try and get a good angle, and how well it's going to show up on camera, it's more so this side. You can see a bunch of different scratches. Hang on. Turns out the camera doesn't want to pick it up, but you can see a bunch of um, scratches, especially in this area where it's been washed over the years. There is quite a few stone chips in the front that you're just not going to get rid of by doing this process. We can live with that on a 13 year old car. Right, there we go, we've got the bonnet taped off. Near enough halfway, it's a pretty awful halfway, but I've got it taped off halfway. So now it's time to get the machine polisher out and see what we can do with that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous. I just wanna disclose real quick again, I know I said it earlier, but this is my first time machine polishing, so if my technique is bad, I apologize, but um, you can only learn. I've got the compound and the machine polish are just sitting up there. I have watched quite a few videos of people detailing cars on YouTube. It doesn't seem too bad, so I'm just gonna crack on and tackle one half of this bonnet, um, and we'll see how we go. Now this is the compound I'm gonna be using. It's Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. I guess on a professional detail, what you'd have is you'd have a number of different compounds, and they'd all have different abrasive properties. A um, bit like sandpaper, you know you can get rough sandpaper, and then the grades go up and it gets finer and finer. I guess that's the same with sort of a compound, but I'm just gonna use the one today, and hopefully we'll get some good results out of this. I'm just gonna give it a shake. Now, I think you just have to apply sort of five dots to the pad, so that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I've seen the people on YouTube do, sort of few little dabs on the pad. I'm then gonna dab it. So where you can see the compound there, that's where I'm gonna work, just in that area there. I'm gonna start on setting one, which I think is the slowest setting, just to get the compound smudged onto the bonnet. Then I'll move up to a faster setting when I actually want to um, start cutting. Okay, well I would argue that that already looks better. It feels amazing. If you rub your finger along it, it feels smooth as anything. To me, most of this, there's a little bit just there, scratch, oh it's not even a scratch actually, it's a smudge. That actually looks pretty damn good. You can see the reflection as well. If I just, there you go. Hello. All these little bits here are like stone chips, so ignore them. But as a shine, bear in mind I only did about where my hand is, about there. Just did that bit. Looks damn good. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna polish on this side of the line so that when I pull the tape off, you can see the difference. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Okay, so again, what I'm looking for here is I've machine polished the middle bit, as you've just seen. I'm hoping that when I pull this tape up, that there is gonna be a definitive difference between this bit and that bit. Now, I only did about three, four passes on this, maybe a bit more. Um, so this bit looks pretty good to me. If you sort of look at it and let the camera focus, it looks pretty damn good. There's like no more scratches or swirls or anything in the paint compared to sort of next to it there. The camera really doesn't pick up or do it justice. It looks the same there and there. But in person, this looks way better than what that does. So, let's go ahead and peel the tape off and just see what we've got. And as you can see, we've obviously got a line there, but what I'm looking for is a difference in the actual paint. 
so it doesn't see, so it doesn't seem like it wants to show up on just the camera so I've gone ahead and got my torch and you can actually see a difference in this now when you shine a torch on it let me show you so the left hand side of this crease here this side is the bit I polished this bit I haven't so if I shine the torch here it's by no means perfect but there's barely any swells in that can you see you can see the sparkle in the paint um, looks pretty good obviously needs more work but um it's pretty good now if i move over to this side can you see straight away those swells there so there to there you can see all those lines like a spider web it looks like um, and you can see that definitive line right there that's that's the middle right that line there you can see the swells where they stop and where they begin now don't get me wrong this does still have swells in it this side um, but not half as many as what it did have so even those three or four passes with the buffer and that Meguiar's compound has got rid of I'd say 60 70 percent of the swells that this bonnet had uh, which I'm actually quite impressed with now I'm not going to go ahead and show you the whole bonnet but what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly machine polish the rest of the bonnet get it done and then I can apply the polish and that will be the bonnet at least done and then I'm going to do the rest of it off camera uh, the rest of the car I probably won't even do it today I'll probably wait till tomorrow to do it um, because it's going to be a lot of work then to be honest with you there's not a lot more daylight out here it's already about half past three um, so we've probably got about half an hour or an hour's worth of daylight left so so I'm not going to bother carrying on with it today but you can see with a little bit of effort you can get some actually real decent results I didn't expect it to be that good after just such little work um, pretty impressed with that So that is the whole left side of the bonnet now compounded. Um, looks pretty good on camera, looks pretty shiny. Probably could have spent more time on it, I'll be honest. I probably did three or four passes over sort of the whole thing. I went down this way, like spirally, and then I went up and down. Um, so it had a good few passes on it. It looks pretty good. The trouble is the stone chips on these older cars, you know, this car's 13 years old. And so the stone chips on these cars really let them down. You can see all of them in the front here just a bunch of chips all along the front and it's just it's just what happens with cars you know little stones kick up but it feels amazing I don't know if you can hear you probably can't hear anything but my hand just sort of glides across it, it feels baby smooth compared to this side as well you can probably hear that compared to this side it's like squeaky clean and this side's all rough Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out the pad, I'm going to get a polishing pad, switch it out and then I'm going to polish this side uh, and see how we get on, because this is not even polished yet, this is just compounded so it's going to look even shinier once it's had a polish as well, so let's get that done um, and then we can wrap this up So this is it, I think it's like a lamb's wool or something, it's pretty soft I forgot to grab the polish as well, that might help, might it? Good old auto glim Right, there we go, we've got the polishing pad mounted. There's a button you hold on the back and they just twist on and twist off so they're super easy to change. I'm going to get some polish on this thing and then we'll give it a quick coat. Quick shake. Don't need much. Now I've got to say, I am pretty impressed with these results. It looks a lot better in person than it probably does on camera, but it is super shiny. So that has had a wash, a clay bar, a compound, and a polish. And look at the reflection in there. It's like crystal clear, you see me? There you go, you can see the skylight. It looks awesome. I'm well happy with those results. If you just compare that to sort of the roof, look, this is an untouched roof. You can see all the marks in it, all the dirt. Looks pretty disgusting. The rest of the car now needs to be cleaned just as this has been. You can see, let's look at that shine. That is 
crystal clear. Can't believe how good that's come out. So obviously I'm not gonna do the whole car on camera because it's just gonna be what you've just seen over and over again on every single different panel. It's gonna take forever. So I will end up doing it because once this car is clean, obviously it's gonna be a lot more saleable. But today was just like a test of my skills and my products uh, just to see what sort of finish I could get on a car. Because like I said, never polished a car before. I'm not one for car detailing. My cars at the most usually get like a shampoo. That's about it. I don't even usually dry them. Um, I'm pretty bad when it comes to cleaning my cars, but I just don't tend to have the patience for it normally. But there you have it, a nice shiny clean Corsa bonnet. Hope you guys enjoyed this, hope you learned something as well. I hope something in this video was useful to you. If you're looking to get into car detailing as well, or if you just want to start cleaning your car, this might be somewhat useful, but like I said, I am an amateur. There's a lot of really good detailing YouTube channels. Um, Car Cleaning Guru is one. I can't remember any other ones off the top of my head, but I'll leave in the description the names of some car detailing channels if you want to go and check them out and learn even more. Um, those guys do it professionally, so they know exactly what you do and what you use and all the products and all that sort of stuff. But I hope this was useful to some of you. I had fun. It was good to use my polisher for the first time as well since buying that. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Now as I was tidying my stuff away, I realized that I didn't use the fast wax, this stuff, but that's not a big deal. If you want to use it, you can do. All you do is spray this on, wipe it off, done. Just thought I'd add that in there as I did show that at the start of the video, uh, but it didn't show me doing it. See you next time.